Peter Pan, I'm coming to arrest you. Son, we caught you for ki kidnapping Wendy. We know you did it. Okay, but when we caught you, we also found a pound of uh, fairy dust on you. Do you have anything to say to that? You? My client and I have nothing to say at this time. You have the right to make sign it, but that just makes you look guilty. But we will schedule a court date, your bail's been set, and I guess the judge decides your fate. Okay, my, my opening statement. I would like to charge Peter Pan with a count of kidnapping, possession of a legal substance, and resisting arrest. We have this proof because he kidnapped Wendy during and took her to Neverland. We found him with a pound of fairy dust on him. And we have video capture to show that he was uh, resisting arrest and had to be tackled to take it in. We, have, we also have a video that was made, a movie, to show he was captured and he, he was he made a movie. And I would just like to say I, I, I rest my case here. On contrary to my other colleague here, my client once told me the journey between Wendy and Peter Pan was consensual. Wendy agreed to go with Peter on the journey. And as for the magic fairy dust, the land of Never Never Land is perfectly legal. It can be used however, whenever you want to. And as for resisting arrest, we think of cruel and unusual punishment. My client and I would like to arrange a deal. Peter can provide the evidence to support where he got his magic fairy dust from Tinkerbell. This evidence you can get two criminals in one, but we want you to have Peter Pan's sentence. Plea bargain granted. Your sentence is five years.